Life in a world that keeps changing Think that it's progress you're making Copy and paste pretty faces All the time Pictures so perfect we play Hello wonderful viewers, welcome back again to Anointed Lady TV. If you are new on this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you very much for stopping by. This is a new channel and we drop videos every day and we react to every video that comes our way. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate you all for your massive support to this channel. I say may God richly bless you all in Jesus name. Amen. Dear yeah, viewers, I have a video to present to you this very moment and I will be watching that very video with you. And after watching, feel free to drop your opinion at the comment section, like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Please watch this video to the end and know exactly what we are talking about. Bye for now. British lawyers drag Kenya to ICC, give Buhari government 48 hours ultimatum. A coalition of British lawyers of Igbo extraction has vowed to drag the Kenyan government to the International Criminal Court, ICC, for detaining Namdi Kanu, a British citizen, and subsequently handing him over the Nigerian government. The coalition also gave the Nigerian government 48 hours ultimatum to release Namdi Kanu, return him to the United Kingdom and follow the right process of extradition. Namdi Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, was arrested and detained by Kenyan authorities and was later handed over to the Nigerian government. The lawyer's statement was signed by barrister Abuka Okoroafor, accusing the Kenyan government of violating the human rights of the IPOB leader, who entered their country with his British passports. British government speaks on Namdi Kanu's arrest coalition of Igbo British lawyers condemns the illegal detention and subsequent handing over of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdi Kanu to the Nigerian government by the Kenyan government. They described as archaic and illegal the action of the Kenyan government. Adding, it is worthy of note to mention that Mazi Namdi Kanu entered Kenya with his British passport and the Kenyan government is fully aware of his citizenship status but still went ahead to perpetrate their illegal act which does not only breach the personal human rights of Mazi Namdi Kanu but also undermine the sovereignty of the British government. Right is very pleased. I'm here with Mr. Samuel. And uh, we are going to talk uh, on the arrest of Namdi Kanu. I'm not going to talk much, specifically. But I will allow Mr. Samuel to talk first, then after he speaks, then I will give some kind of advice and warning to the Nigerian government, if they will hear. Mr. Samuel. Yes, please. Um, I want to ask a few questions. Have you heard about the arrest of uh, Mazen Amdekanu? Yes, I did. I have heard it. What do you have to say about it? Um, Kanu is fighting a just cause. Mm -hmm. They are supposed not to infringe on his human rights. Mm. I myself am against what the federal government is doing to Southeast people. Mm. I'm an oil produ uh, from an oil producing state. Mm -hmm. But we're not getting anything. Mm -hmm. I schooled, had masters, had everything in Nigeria mm. and in UK. Mm. We're still playing second fiddle. Mm -hmm. We have the urge to come back home and mm. develop Nigeria. Mm. But because it's not forthcoming, mm -hmm. we cannot just come back. So they should not do anything to Nandekano. Mm. Mazen Nandekano is fighting a just cause. Wow. For everybody and not for himself. Mm. He lost his parents. Mm. He lost everything. Wow. Not for himself. He's not self-centered. All these people trying to put him in shame. Mm. What have they done? Mm. They're just capitalizing on what Nandekano was fighting for. Yeah. And that's injustice. Yeah, that's right. They did not allow that prejudice to be on all of us. Mm. Because the battle will come straight afresh. Wow. Thank you very much. That is a straight message. For those who have heard that message, it's a straight message, to be honest. To me, the very time I started appreciating what Nam De Kano is doing, or what he does, is the time he created what is called ESN, for the security of his people. That showed me that a person who is not even in Nigeria, trying to create a security outfit for people who are in Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. not that he is securing himself, or his parents, but he's securing others. And like you said, the, 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 the dad is, is dead, the, 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 the mom is dead. I don't think he have people even right in Abia. Yeah. But he's still making moves to secure yeah. his people back home. Yeah. Now, he has been arrested. Yes. And why do you have to 
arrest him. I got lots of news. People that say oh, he was extradited from the United Kingdom by Interpol, which is false. Yes. Uh, I've, I've, I've investigated that. They say yes. that is false. That he was actually arrested uh, in Kenya. In Kenya, yes. why on transit or something? I don't know. Exactly. I don't have the full detail until exactly. we hear from exactly. him. Exactly. Until we hear from him one on one. He's been arrested. That is the bottom line. So the arrest, do you think, is going to bring something profitable? Do you think it's going to to cure this uh, 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 unrest? Uh, in fact, they are trying to make it more difficult for the for themselves. Mm. Because if they try to do anything on Khan, Namazin and the Khan, mm. the whole people will explode. The whole thing will explode, mm. and there will be more confusion. What we are talking about, the society will go mad mm. because it's fighting for a just cause. Mm. All they need to do is. Let them listen to him. Mm. It's not that I'm after Biafra, mm. but I'm after the injustice being made of people called Biafra. That's right. So that's what I'm after. Mm. They, they have cheated us enough. Mm. I finish with people in school, they will get good jobs, mm. get all your company, get mm. this. And I'm, I'm a landlord to all your They don't give me nothing. You see? We are suffering. You are from River State. The whole River State. Right. So the issue is that we are not making it. They should listen to the cause where this, what this mm. man is fighting for. Mm. Not looking at him as being a terrorist. He's not a terrorist. Mm. But there are people that are in the north. Mm. The Buka Haram, they have not mm. gone for them. Mm. They have not gone to other people, the banditry people. Mm. Why are they after Nani? I saw lots of people saying that the energy Nigerian government is putting to hunt Nam the Kano. If they use that energy to fight Boko Haram, Shaka would have died for a long time. I agree with you. Mm. Boko a... Haram for not even remain. Exactly. But they are hunting one person named the Kano. What is so bad about him that you hunt him specifically? Because he's telling them the truth. Yeah, because he's telling them the truth. Now the problem, let me let me let me renew your mindset, federal government of Nigeria. It's time to renew your mindset. This advice what I won't give you, you no know, need to take them. It's your problem. You see, let me tell you something. Nam the Kano have been arrested. Good. <laughs> I see people tribulating in Nigeria. Waste of energy. This is the worst thing you can celebrate. Because why is the worst thing you can celebrate? If you are not careful, if you don't trade with caution, caution, if you don't see this case as very sensitive case, capable of even tearing the Nigeria you are trying to protect, eh? it means you are not reasonable. Exactly. It means you are not wise. Exactly. You are not prudent at all. Exactly. Because do you know why I said so? Now they cannot have now at the moment. If you divide down Nigeria into two, almost half is loyal to him, if you don't know. You're not correct. only will people now. You are correct. Not only will people. I learned that uh, yeah, some, some of their donors, they are agitating for his arrest now. Everybody. You know? And because they are already now a bit of an ally with Oduduwa, you must be careful. If you cannot take him, Yoruba will join the fight, mm -hmm. telling you to release him. Mm -hmm. So if you, and the worst thing that can happen is that as soon as and so, he mistakenly, even though soon as I come out, <laughs> oh, make it, make it, had it, I know someone I take my advice, so you don't need to take him, but no, let that guy die for that, even though say, I die by himself. They even though say, I die by himself, because what do, what do we go see for that country? Or I don't believe him. And I don't say don't do the case. If you know that he has case, mm. follow the case, the case but let it be lawful. Yes. And don't maltreat, don't just maltreat him. Like, that guy is a high-profile top like man. He tortured. He was tortured? By the security. I had it. Somebody, I called a lawyer from London who was close to him. He told his sister, told him that Nadikad was tortured. He's dressed tall. And last night, right, I'll show you the text message. Are you serious? I'm, I'll show you. The guy is from Bano. And he, I was coming to him. He was saying he's incapacitated. He was crying. So I said, can they torture this man? What offense? I read him before court. The court of law would just address the whole thing. Mm. So why are they trying to torture the guy? That is injustice. I saw a couple of, I saw a couple of crowd in Porta Court protesting. Yeah, they were torture people. They were saying they want Biafra. That's Biafra land. Yeah, yeah they, they were protesting about the arrest. Releasing Nan Dekano. They are pro massive protests. So, uh, uh, to be honest, federal government, the chief justice and all that, please, we need to be wise in this case. I'm not begging you to understand what I'm saying, you know, but we need to be wise so that what we are trying to control we would not, we wouldn't worsen the situation. They are trying to say that there is tension all over, all over, uh, killings and all that. Yes. But there is a mistake. Do you know when you set firewood, yeah? Yes. There's a heap of firewood, yeah? Mm -hmm. Then uh, you've already said you put petrol, mm -hmm. you know, like fuel on it already. And you have matches. Yes. To, to, to strike on it. Yes. This is the point we are with this yes. case. Yes, exactly. If you make mistake to strike, that matches. I agree with you. <laughs> Everywhere don't burn. Now the situation where we did so. So you better person when hold these matches now. 
make it the withdraw. May put the matching stick inside the bus. Now what are the try to now be Nigeria? You're right. You don't need to yell. If you love what I'm doing, you don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.